hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today today it is my premier league predictions for week 15 um sorry if my voice is a little off um i'm as you can probably tell i'm suffering from a cold um but anyway what's got to be done has got to be done so here's my predictions for week 15 guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game I'm going to do is Brighton versus Crystal Palace. Now for you that don't know, Brighton is my local team. Going up against our rivals um, this Tuesday night. Um, I'm going to predict to Brighton win. Um, I just think Palace are going to come down here and expect it to be a bit easier than what it's going to be. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 Brighton win. The next one is Bournemouth versus Huddersfield. Um, you know, Huddersfield had a plus centre off against Brighton. Um, bit of a shock. Um, I believe it was a red card. Uh, I still do now. Um, I know Huddersfield fans to disagree, which is completely fine. And while I remember, put your Premier League predictions down below, because I'm always interested to go up against you guys. Um... Well, it's Bournemouth. I want the up, uh, up and up, down. That you know, a bit in the middle uh, around this time of season. But with this one, I'm going to predict it for the home team to win, and I'm going to go with a two-one scoreline. The next one is West Ham versus Cardiff. Now, I do have to be careful because every time I predict Cardiff, I always get it terribly wrong. And I don't mean to, honestly I don't. Um, going up against a very good West Ham team. Um, London Stadium don't seem to be their best performance when they play at home. Um, I reckon Cardiff go get a point here. I'm going to go with a one on scoreline. The next one is Watford versus Manchester City. Um... You know, Watford, Dark Horses, I've called them this season. Uh, going up against a very good Man City side who overcame Bournemouth this weekend. Um, so with this one, I'm going to go with a 3-0 Manchester City win. The next one is Burnley versus Liverpool. Um, you know, Burnley down in the bottom three. Look, really struggling to keep... Uh, hold of any leads or keep the ball out the net. Uh, I reckon that's going to be a very interesting game indeed. Um, Liverpool on the up, just literally beating Everton as I'm recording this. Um, you know, it's going to. I think Liverpool have got this game. And I'm going to go with a 2 1 scoreline again for that one. The next one is Everton versus Newcastle. Everton losing to West Ham this previous fixture. Everton losing to Liverpool. Uh, sorry, Newcastle losing to West Ham. And Everton losing to Liverpool. With a very dodgy last minute goal from Liverpool, I must admit that. Um... But as far as the fixture goes, I'm going to go with a one on the scoreline for that one. I can't see Everton picking up much um, from Newcastle, but I'm expecting Newcastle to sit back quite a lot and play a tight game. The next one is Fulham versus Leicester. Now, Fulham, can you already have any lost to Chelsea this weekend? Uh can't remember how Leicester got on. I know they played Watford. I can't remember the final result. Put it down in the comments below, Leicester fans, what the result was um, for your game against Watford. Um, yet again, I'm going to have to go with the Leicester. Um, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline with that one. The next one is Wolves versus Chelsea. Chelsea overcoming Fulham um, at Stamford Bridge previous game uh, as I've mentioned Wolves are on a downer they won they lost five games in a row and that's against Cardiff their last defeat um, now if Wolves don't pick up soon I can I can start hearing the door ringing for their manager call me crazy Wolves but you should know the Premier League works by now 
or how the football world how the football world works by now. Um, you know, you don't win so many games you're out the door. Um, I think the alarm bells will start to ring if they can't do anything against Chelsea. And I'm going to predict it not to happen to anything against Chelsea. Um, and I'm going to go with a 3 0 scoreline to Chelsea. The next one, and it's probably the game of the midweeks, is Manchester United versus Arsenal. Man United 2 all with Southampton after coming two goals down. Um, Arsenal beating Spurs 4 2. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a tight game. Um, in that in my first trip to Old Trafford in the league at least. Um, but I'm expecting an interesting game, and that's why I'm going to call this one a draw. I'm going to go with a 2 2 scoreline. The last one of the midweek, and there will be another upload for the weekend predictions, don't worry about that. Um, but for the midweeks, this is the last fixture. Uh, Spurs against Southampton. You know, as I just said, Tottenham uh, losing to Arsenal, Tottenham on, I'm on about. And Southampton losing to a uh, draw to United. Is that going to pick up their spirits for Wembley? I don't think so. I think Tottenham are going to win this one. And I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline. So guys, this is my Premier League predictions for week 15. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.